welcome back to the channel. Shanina here. And y'all, I'm trying to pull myself together. Feeling a little under the weather, but I'm feeling better today than I have been over the weekend. Um, and last week, because last week, I don't know what is wrong with this weather, but it's been, just been having my system kind of up and down. So I said today that it's going to be a better day. Today is Monday. It's the start of the week. And so I've got my shower and stuff out of the way and all that kind of stuff. And so right now I'm just kind of sitting here. I did work earlier today and that was kind of a struggle, y'all, like honestly, because I've, I have this weird cough. And, um, I don't know if it's because the room, there's like no air flowing through there or something. I don't know. But at some point throughout my shifts, I've been getting like these cough spasms, like going into these cough attacks. It is so crazy. And I've been taking medicine. Now, at first when I started feeling all like, like I had to clear my throat all of the time. Like you guys probably heard it in my last video when I when I had said that I feel like I'm about to catch another cold. Right. At that time, I was only feeling like, <clears throat> you know how you feel like a little rumble in your chest or whatever. And you got to constantly make you feel like you got to clear your throat or whatnot. So that's how I was feeling. And so I've only really been dealing with that. And then funny thing is I started taking Mucinex because I got tired of doing that. And I was like, you know what? Let me just knock this thing out because I am not a medicine person. Like I, I barely am keeping up with my vitamins. Okay. I try to take these vitamins on a daily basis. Let me show y'all. These are the three things that I take on a daily basis and I can barely keep up with this. So, I hate taking Tylenol. I hate taking cough medicine. I just really don't like taking medicine, period. Um, so, I started taking some Theraflu, and it seemed like instead of me feeling like I have to clear my throat all the time, it made me cough a lot. Like, it's so crazy. All weekend, I was struggling getting through my shifts because I was constantly coughing. And I'm so glad that phone, whoever invented the phones came up with the mute button because I can just mute the phone real quick so that I'm not coughing in the person's ear that I'm talking to but um yeah so I did go I've been taking this mucinex but y'all the mucinex it just made me cough and I don't really feel like it was helping that much so yesterday I went to Walmart and got some Theraflu now I did not want to buy this for one, it's almost $7. But, <coughs> <coughs> oh, that was a spicy pepperoni. That hit the throat kind of weird. I'm still dealing with this cough, y'all, so bear with me. But I did not want to spend no money on that. Thank God I had a $1 off coupon for it. On coupons.com, that is the app that I normally use when I go to Walmart. If y'all don't use that app, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but you can get like free stuff on there. Like this past week, they had free potatoes and to make it free, of course, you just purchase the, the item under the value that the coupon is for. So like, for example, the coupon was valued up to $2 and 50 cents. So I just grabbed a five pound bag of potatoes that was $2 and 47 cents. So, um, I just finished redeeming all of my receipts to coupons.com because I did purchase some other stuff. Like there was a dollar off on this on there. I picked up some of these and there was a dollar off coupon when you purchase two for those. And these are 144 at my store. And then there was also, I picked up some arm and hammer laundry detergent. There was a dollar off coupon for that. And so, you know, if you guys are like me and you're not really into like buying newspapers anymore and, or you don't, you kind of slow down on couponing or how you coupon or whatever, then coupons.com, the app, is an alternative. You know, if you don't have a printer to print out coupons, if you don't want to clip coupons. Now, I do get coupons in the mail. However, what I noticed is there are a lot of these coupons I don't use. Um, I don't have no use for them. So, I think the last thing that I used out of here was... Um, for this foundation, I had went 
to Walmart a few weeks ago and I picked up me some Fit Me foundation because I have a foundation from way back when my brother got married and I'm pretty sure it has reached its shelf life because that was like, what, four, maybe four, almost five years ago, I believe. I could be wrong, sis. If you're watching this, don't get mad at me. I apologize. But, you know, that was a long time ago and I'm trying to replace a lot of the makeup that I have because I already break out. Like, I've been taking the depo shot. And it already makes my skin break out because of the hormones or whatever. And so I don't want to add anything extra to the breakouts. But I haven't, there's a lot of these coupons I haven't used. A lot of them have expired. Um, you know, and a lot of the time, some of these coupons are on the coupons.com app. And you can't double dip. So I'll just use what's on the app. Especially if I'm just getting one of the, one of the items. Um... I don't go through the trouble of clipping out the coupons, but for that foundation, I did clip out one of the coupons and I picked up truffle. Was it truffle? Which one is darker? Yeah. Truffle the first time. No nutmeg. It was nutmeg the first time. Yeah. Nutmeg. And this is 365. And when I did a color match on my hand, I should have did it right here. But when I did a color match on my hand in the store, it looked like it fit. But then when I wore it, it seemed a little bit dark. <coughs> it seemed a little bit dark. And so I was like, well, let me go and get another color that is close to... It might have been the... I don't know which one of these I got first. I think it, it was either the truffle or the nutmeg. But anyway, so I went and got the second one, and I don't know, when I put it on my face, it seemed kind of on the yellowish side. I don't know if it was because of the lighting in the bathroom or not, but anyways, so I think I had like a dollar off or whatever that coupon value was for in the paper. But um, yeah, you guys, use that coupons.app if you're trying to, you know, if you don't feel like going through that whole couponing newspaper process. Um, because sometimes when you have a busy life, you don't have time to do all that, like every single week. So that's what I use. And then I go to Walmart and I redeem them. And so another app that I use is the receipt hog. I can't recall if I've ever spoken about this app on this channel or not, but it is a cash receipt app. So how it works is you just basically submit your receipt. So it can be a receipt from almost anywhere, to be honest with you. As long as it is an itemized receipt, it has a store logo on it and a date of purchase, then you should be fine. It's only been, I think, once ever that I tried to redeem a seat, and it was only because it didn't say what store it was actually from. It was from some random, like, corner store that I had purchased something at, and I tried to redeem it, but whatever but for the most part like every week you can redeem a certain amount of receipts and let the points add up and then once you get to a certain amount of points it'll let you cash out on, on um, paypal now the least points that you have to get in order to cash out for paypal is a thousand points and it'll let you cash out for five dollars but honestly you don't even have to cash out like you can let the points just add up and build up and build up and you know Let's say if you run into um, some, you know, unscheduled event that costs money or something and you know about it ahead of time, you can cash out and it takes about a couple of days for it to go to your PayPal account. I think there's a certain date that you have to do it by, but you can use the money for that or you could just let it build up, you know. It's just another way of getting cash back um, off of your purchases. So I use those the most. I use coupons.com the most and the receipt hog the most. Um, I used to use Ibotta, not so much anymore. I used to use Saving Star. I really don't use that anymore either. And I used to use Moby Save, but it changed. Like now when I log on to Moby Save, it doesn't even look the same. Like it's something else is going on with that. So I don't even use that. And since I've been on this side of town, I don't really venture that much to the stores that I used to venture to on the other side of town, like CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid. Like, there's CVS's and Walgreens and Rite Aid's over here, but 
I do a lot of shopping at Walmart and Kroger and Kroger has their own set of digital coupons so you can't use that on your coupons.com app. Like I have three stores linked to the coupons.com app, Walmart, Sam's Club, and Dollar General. And so when I do do a little bit of couponing, those are the apps that, you know, if I'm not buying in multiples, then I generally just use those apps. But, um, so yeah, check out the coupons.com app to get like freebies. Like this week it was the free potatoes. I've gotten free eggs. I've gotten free oranges off of that app. Um, I mean, it just comes in handy, you know, again, when you're trying to save some money. So anyways, while I was at Walmart yesterday, I did, and I'm sorry, y'all, this pizza is like so good and I'm so hungry. So please excuse me. But, um, I thought I had a paper towel in here, but anyway, while I was at Walmart, I noticed that they have items that are already, that they're already marking down, but I just happened to pass by a whole table in the women's section with items that were marked down to a dollar. Now, be careful with this because if you go to your Walmart and you see a table or a clearance rack where things are supposed to be a dollar, pay attention to when you're, while you're ringing it up because... Some of the items that were on that dollar table was not ringing up for a dollar. And I had to get a cashier because I was going through the self-checkout line. And I had to get a cashier to come and adjust the price. So pay attention to that because you don't want to be paying more than you have to for something that's clearly marked for less. So um, I did pick up 11 items. Um, we did some grocery shopping over the weekend. And so... This did not in, this was not included in my grocery budget, so I did go over eleven dollars because each item was a dollar. But I just want to show you guys what I did pick up. I picked up some stuff for me and Olivia. So I just finished taking all of the tags off because y'all, some of these people, you know what? Let me tell you something. When you see something that good of a deal, everybody's gonna be trying to look at the same time. Stuff is gonna be falling on the floor. So literally some of these items had fell on the floor and they just happened to be the size that I needed them in. So I just finished sitting here taking off some of the tag, well, taking off all of the price tags. And these shirts were ranging from about, these shirts and pants were ranging from about $9 to about $15. But I got each and every one of them for a dollar. So um, I need to wash them. Because I refuse to put on some clothes where it's been on the floor, it hit, has hit the floor, and I don't want Olivia to be wearing no dusty clothes either. So anyways, I got her these sweatpants. She actually has these pairs already, but in two different colors. She has a navy blue and a black, so now she got a gray. And she can wear these now because these are in the size that she wears now. Um, a 10 12 they didn't have any sizes smaller than that and they didn't have any sizes bigger than that so it was perfect whatever I just grabbed one pair um, then I grabbed this shirt for her now I don't know if she's gonna be able to fit this it may be a little too big but honestly y'all for a dollar I really could care less if it's too big or not because she can just grow into it um, this is a Batman shirt. Well, the company is Batman, but the shirt, it's a reversible sequins. So on one side, it has all these X's and hearts. And then on the other side, it says mad love. So I thought that was cute. I was like, oh, okay. And it's a long sleeve. And it's not like a thick, thick sweatshirt material. It's kind of like a thin sweatshirt material. But it is um, cotton and polyester. And I also got her another sweatshirt-like shirt. And this is a reversible emoji shirt. So 
I guess this is supposed to be the crying emoji. And then when you flip it, a smiling emoji. So, <laughs> let me peel this off because I actually forgot to peel this off. So I thought that that was pretty cute. And it goes with her personality because she, lately she has been flip-flopping. Like her attitude has been off the chain. And then like she's like, oh, here's my paper towel right here. Like the Sour Patch Kid commercials where they'll do something like naughty and then be all nice and stuff all of a sudden. That's kind of like how she's been being lately. So I also got her this Wonder Woman shirt. And it's a long sleeve. So yeah. Thought that was pretty cute, you guys. I mean for a dollar really. And I believe these three shirts were like 14 80 something. Between 12, I think one of the tags was like 1288 and the other one was like 1488. This Wonder Woman shirt, I think, was the 1488, and then the other two were the 1288. Anyway, and I already threw them in the trash, but yeah, and then I got myself some shirts, so just plain old long sleeve shirts, faded glory. Got a gray one. A kind of like a burgundy stripe one, a purple one, and a red one. Then, oh, she's also got another pair of like jogging pants. So, this is a 14 16 extra large. Now, this is like a junior size, I believe, but whatever, y'all, like for real, she'll grow into these eventually. So, and she's already tall, so she may can already fit them. I just probably have to roll up the bottom just a little bit. Either way, I don't care. It was only a dollar. <laughs> then I got myself some pants just to kind of lounge in. And really, I could not pass them up because they were a dollar. These are just um just my size sweatpants by Hanes Her Way. And that may be a little bit big. I don't know. I don't care. Um, they had other colors, but a lot of the table that I got these pants on in these solid shirts, a lot of the sizes they had were like 4X, 5X, 3X. It was kind of hard for me to find my size. So I picked up what I could that was in my size. And then I got this shirt right here. So, yeah, these are just some basic shirts, you know. Um, like I said, a lot of people was run, going through these things. This stuff was falling all on the floor, you know. And it was just crazy, y'all. And I got that stuff actually Saturday. And yesterday when I went back, the racks that I got Olivia's stuff off of, it was barely anything on there in the table that I got my stuff off of I think there were like three or four items left on the table so if you go to your Walmart just check to see if they have any like clearance items because they've been marking stuff down now spring is coming in so they're probably still going to be marking some stuff down um like right now there's a lot of like three dollar items seven dollar items and so those may soon be a dollar, you know what I mean? So yeah, check that out. 